use the modal verb should, and then the main verb will go here. When there's some sort of a recommendation or there is an expectation. You should practice your English more often. This is a recommendation. Your English should improve if you practice. This is an expectation. The word should is spelled with an L, but don't pronounce the L. Don't say should. Pronounce it should. Should rhymes with good. It also rhymes with could and would. Should, good, could, would. Following the modal verb should, the main verb is in the simple form. I should have it. She should be here. It should rain today. After the modal verb should, the main verb is in the simple form. I should go. This is for now. To make it past, I should have gone. Now, the main verb is in the form of a past participle. I should have gone. In this sentence, it sounds like I didn't go. To make this negative, just put not here. I should not go or I shouldn't go. I should not have gone or I shouldn't have gone. You should do it. Here's the main verb. To make this negative, put not right after should. The contraction is often used with should and not. Shouldn't. You shouldn't do it. We should exercise more. Here's the main verb. She should wake up earlier. These are all recommendations. In these sentences, should is used for expectation. It should be in my desk. Whatever this is, that's where a person can find it. She should graduate this spring. So the expectation is that she will graduate. Victoria M. Westman. They should be able to find what they are looking for. In this example, the modal verb should is used with a phrasal verb, be able to. So this is in the simple form. And the main verb is find. This could be in a store or it could be on the internet. What's the difference among these three sentences that use should? He should find it. So the expectation is that the thing is easy to find. Or he should be able to find it. This is very similar to the first sentence. The difference, of course, is that this phrasal verb is, is used in expressing possibility. And he should have found it is used when talking about the past. He should have found it. Perhaps he found it. Perhaps he didn't find it. 
in these sentences, the expectation is negative with shouldn't. It shouldn't take long. This could amount to a short amount of time. Or this shouldn't be difficult. It's possibly easy or not difficult. And he shouldn't feel bad about what he did. That doesn't mean that he should feel good, but not bad. He shouldn't feel bad. If you like videos like this one, you should subscribe to this channel. That way, you'll receive notifications as new videos are made in the future.